guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. Just wanted to briefly jump into the portfolio to show you guys today's performance. Another very, very good day. As you can see up top, they're in the green, up $1,026, representing 1.04% of my overall portfolio, with a little bit extra in after hours trading there. $10.98, representing 0.01%. And you can see here a few times today, we actually breached the $100,000 goal here in early morning trading a couple times before trending back here a bit. Briefly getting above $100,000 before the end of trading, but it did pull back here a bit, ending the day at $99,992.93. So did not quite make the goal today, but again, briefly breached our goal. So hopefully tomorrow, it's also a very strong market. We only need a few more dollars here to get over that $100,000 mark. And then we'll be setting our sights on $200,000 over the next year. And as you guys remember, it took me about a year to get up to this mark here. So hopefully with the knowledge that we've learned over the last year of investing and learning, we can accelerate that process a little bit more than we uh, have been. Although it's a, a pretty good time frame there. I'm not complaining at all uh, getting up to $100,000 within the year, but... Again, we've learned so much with the portfolio here. I think we can use those best practices moving forward to avoid some of the errors that we initially had starting off. And again, the portfolio today was driven by Portola here. You can see up $2.07, 3.47% today. Over the last three months, you can really see how nicely it's been performing here. Up 70.21%. Uh, and you can see in the middle here, total return 59.1%. That's actually quite a bit higher that's closer to probably 90%. Uh, but as you guys know, Robinhood does a first in, first out with regards to their accounting purposes. And I've been doing a lot of day and swing trading with this stock. So I've had shares I've been holding long, but I've also been doing some day and swing trades. But the way I've been accounting for those trades is sort of a last in, first out. But as you guys know, Robinhood does not do that. Even if you request that, they're only first in, first out. So the accounting purposes here are showing that. So some of the lower price stock that uh, basically in my spreadsheet I have as current holdings uh, were taken out during the uh, day in swing trading. Really just accounting purpose. At the end of the day, total profit is the same. Uh, but this is essentially showing that there's less profit here and more profit with my earlier trades. The way I've been accounting for this is doing less profit with my day trades and then assuming that the lower price stock is still in the portfolio. But either way, the total return is the same, whether it's show, shown here or with my day trades. But very, very strong here. And I think Portola still has quite a bit of room to go upward. Now, as you guys know from my prior videos, this particular drug that was passed really accounted for the uh, price increase here. There was an anticoagulant drug passed, really spiked the price here. But the more influential drug is still in the FDA process that has not had a final decision on that particular drug. And if that drug does get passed, I can see this stock easily eclipsing $100. Uh, but again, it's a very risky proposition. There's no guarantee that that drug will pass FDA approval. If it does pass FDA approval, I definitely see this breaching $100. If it does not, this is probably going to trend back here probably to $30 or so. I think there's a lot of downside potential with the stock. But again, a lot of upside potential as well. This stock is also a prime target for a merger and acquisition, whether that is a, a hostile or not, doesn't really matter. But if that were to happen, I can definitely see this stock breaching $120, if not higher. So I think there's a lot of upside potential in this stock. Again, would not recommend this to any new investor or any investor watching the video here. This is a very, very risky stock. But as you guys know from the markets, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. And so far, it's been a very nice play for me, but jumping in at this price point, not quite sure if that would be great or not. Again, a lot of upside potential, but a lot of risk involved as well. So yeah, just wanted to quickly jump into the portfolio here, kind of show you guys what's been going on. Ford also did very nicely today as well. So this also helped add to that $1,026 profit today. As you guys know, I have a very large holding of Ford, 2,996 shares, just under $34,100. So that was a nice little added bonus today as well. So hope you guys have been doing as well as my portfolio has been doing. Again, another $1,000 gain today, just under the $100,000 goal. Hopefully we can get that tomorrow. It's been a very, very strong market over the last few weeks. And really over the last year, it's been a very, very strong market that has definitely helped with the performance in the portfolio. 
But again, uh, just wanted to quickly talk about the portfolio. And kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have a question about this video, other videos, please let me know. If you guys have any good video ideas, let me know. I'm always looking for new things to read up on, research. And if there's enough of the same type of question, I'll go ahead and do a video on that. Um, I hope you guys have been learning a lot. If not, uh, let me know what you guys want to learn about, and I'll do some research and put out a video. So, yeah, kind of with that, I'll end the video, and we'll see you guys next time.